Lake Mojave, where Jake and I travel miles and miles down a bumpy dirt road, kayak in stunning blue-green water, and have a temporary lakefront property for the next couple of days. But before we get to the lake, let's start the journey from the beginning of the long, bumpy dirt road. So we're airing down the tires because the road out to the lake is pretty washboarded. And uh, so you just let some tire air pressure out, kind of smooths out the ride. And it will also give us better traction because I think we're going to be driving on some soft sand. So airing down the tires is pretty important. Uh, just a way to make your vehicle more capable and our van is only rear wheel drive so definitely helps a lot and it makes the ride smoother so it's more enjoyable and uh but these are the numbers that we use for how much to air down for which kinds of roads and then obviously you have to have an air compressor to air your tires back up before you get on the pavement because you can damage your tires or wear them out too quickly if you ride on pavement and while Jake was airing down the tires, I was on snack duty, so we have a little bit of cheese and crackers to get us through the drive. Hi. <laughs> He's kind of big. This is nuts. We don't have any food, man. Bye, buddy. Bye. I hope you find your dad. <laughs> Aww. They say donkeys are asses, but he seemed pretty nice to me. <laughs> we just got super lucky. This is like the last, like, kind of private little campsite here. And it's right on the water. We're gonna take the kayak out tomorrow. But it's a long bumpy road out here, but it's pretty nice. Set. fish jumping there's a lot of bugs but they're not really bothering us and we're watching these little bats just fly around I think they can like fly with their mouth open and collect them all as they fly <laughs> yeah I'll see if I can capture them everyone we woke up to our beachfront property out here in Arizona I think we're gonna try to get on the water today yeah, I think we might have finally escaped winter it's gonna be pretty warm but the wind is gonna pick up in the afternoon so we're gonna get to kayaking in the morning let's go So it's kind of an exciting day because we haven't been able to kayak in like over a month. Because when we were in Texas, I had this crazy idea to like skimboard behind the van while Emily drove along the beach and like pulled me. But then on uh, very classically the last run, I like face first and like 
dislocated my fingers pretty bad. Anything that we've ever learned from like skiing and snowboarding, you never say this is the last run. <laughs> I don't know if I said it was the last one, but we, we were back at camp, so we knew that it was- You always get hurt. Yeah. And I like jammed my fingers and they've been like pretty messed up. They're, they're getting better. But anyway, we're gonna go kayaking today. I'm gonna make Emily do all the paddling. <laughs> up on this one little beach shore. We call it Rocky Beach. <laughs> so comfortable. <laughs> yeah, we uh, are realizing we don't have that much patience for kayaking itself and we actually just really like being out on the water drinking beers. We really only brought beer snacks. We should have bought, brought real snacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's what happens when you find a girl from Wisconsin. <laughs> breaking all the rules today. Flying the drone while under the influence. Flying it over water, which you're also not supposed to do. But we landed it safely. It was a success. Plus that footage looked pretty cool, don't you think? All right, so one of the first things we noticed when we arrived at this campsite was there is trash like absolutely everywhere. Um, and due to our Patreon, we do. Do? Do do? <laughs> Let me just, we'll pick back up. Since we're staying true, we're gonna clean up trash at all of our campsites and hikes. We're gonna clean this one up. It is just really sad that there is so much trash in a place like this because there's a lot of other van lifers just like us that like try to leave no trace and try to like, clean up after other people but we never want a place like this to be shut down because of like people leaving it trashed and stuff like that so we'll clean it up and hopefully people will get better about leave no trace. I'm really trying to get some underwater footage of these ducks. They're really outsmarting me right now. They know there's the GoPros there. Had a fun little interaction last night <laughs> with all the garbage that we picked up. Some animal tried to get in there, but I think they quickly found out that there's not good trash in there. It's just like old toilet paper, old, <laughs> old bottles and everything. But this morning we are going to go on a fun little morning stroll in the kayak. Did you make sure you killed all the spiders, Jake? You're good. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Put Jake on spider patrol before coming down here to take her a little morning stroll. He would claim that there were no spiders, but then as soon as we get back, he's like taking down the, the kayak. And guess what? Huge spider under my seat. 
right on her seat. He failed so miserably at spider control. Oops. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on our little adventure to Lake Mojave. Yeah, we didn't know about this place at all. It's pretty cool. It's like a hidden gem. Yeah, it was fun though. You could actually like park and then like be literally 10 feet from the beach. Yeah, and uh, I bet when the water warms up in the summer, this is a really nice place. Yeah, it was cloudy and like 80 yesterday and it was like perfect. So if it was sunny, it would have been deadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed our content. Um, please subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you guys on the next adventure. See ya.